All right, so I left off in the first video. This is the trick-or-treat room. And as you can see, I used more pavers to make a platform for the pumpkins as people walk through. I used the cheap uh, $5 strands of 100 lights. They're orange. And these, uh, they're for Halloween, obviously. They come out better than the LEDs, and they're cheaper. So I think they're more reliable. I hung this blanket, this trick-or-treat blanket up here. It's got the rules for uh, Halloween and I use like the cheap bag of clamps from Walmart. Those are like $8 for a whole bag of plastic clamps. Pretty good deal. And there's Sam of course and then the give me something good to eat uh, tapestry in the background. More clamps up on top and then I use some plastic sheeting. You could use black trash, trash bags. I sliced it down to create like a doorway. Then in our last room, I gotta get through this door in our last room, I have a couple skeletons that are just hanging out here. And they are covered with spider webs. Some props in the background, more electronic candles. Big bad spider here. And like this uh, guy here. And then our smiling Jack. He's kind of a not a good guy. He laughs at people. And then he swings that shovel. Then like a rest in peace. Uh, tombstone there and of course an LED a couple candles electronic of course and then the back of a tarp kind of see zip ties and clamps in use all over well, the tarps come in really handy they were just cheap tarps from uh, Walmart on clearance and when it gets dark the color doesn't really matter a whole lot which I wondered about before I put them in so kind of a walkthrough of how the haunted house went together and I'm gonna back out here <laughs> We're back in the daylight. Uh, surprisingly, just for the second night, just to set it up to get it back going again, it was like an hour and a half of work to put everything in place, get it ready. Everything's like ready to be turned on, running all the power again. You don't want to leave so many electronics outside at night. And then having like a power tester or a line tester is nice to have. So if you're out here in the middle of the night and something happens while your haunted house is running, you can test to make sure you have power to your cords. So there's some of the power going. And then coming around here, I have another power drop going to a separate outlet. And then this powers the uh, back side of the house here. And back to the front again.